The next step before we go to the field and plant is to set up product specific information by tapping on this box. The nice part about the Viper 4 is that you don't have to enter any more information in these boxes if you don't want to. We can simply leave this step alone and start our next process of job profiles. We're going to walk through setting up some different product configurations. This specific planter is configured as a 24 row. It has seed, fertilizer, and insecticide as options on the machine. Depending on how your planter is equipped, you might have one if you're just running seed, you might have two if you're running seed and fertilizer, or in our case we have all three, so we have three tabs. Yours might vary, again, depending on how your planter is equipped. In order to edit the values or names for these items, by pressing the gears icon in the upper right hand corner, it takes us to this window. This very top box is the label for the entire configuration. For reference, that name is what shows up on the summary page back here. For easy operation, I recommend changing my overall label to my specific hybrid number that I am planting. I hit my green check. Again, overall label. As we get into our different products, again, depending on what is on the planter, we can enter in our variety name. Keeping them the same on both allows, again, for easy reference down the road. You can enter brand name and crop type if you so choose, although it is not required. The display as box right here is what shows up on the run screen as your product identification. If you have another tab, which could be insecticide or fertilizer, pressing on that makes this one active and it brings you to, in our case, our liquid fertilizer tab. We again can tap on our plus at the top and enter in our label for the mix. It's going to display as star on our run page. The tank level line currently is not active. We can also enter carrier information for our fertilizer. We can enter in the carrier volume. Again, by tapping on any one of those boxes. At the bottom of the page, there's a many preloaded products. By hitting on that lower plus, the lower plus again, it brings up a whole bunch of labeled products already. So let's say we want to utilize 1034O, hit our green return arrow, it asks you for a registration code which is not required, press none, it takes us back and then you of course can enter in the quantity for your fertilizer as well. This option is not required, you can just enter a mix name and move on to the next step. If you have insecticide as number two or number three, as it is on our machine, very similar to the fertilizer, you can enter in a mix name. So in our case, we'll name it force for this example. It displays as force and under insecticide, you have options as well to bring up favorite products. Again, a lot of them on the list. You can type in names, manufacturers, to limit the list that you see. Okay, so in this case, we selected that one. We hit it by mistake. So we have a red or an X over here. You can simply delete it off the list. Once you're complete with your product names, hit your green return arrow. We now can see our label, our hybrid, our fertilizer label, and our insecticide. This is one product configuration. You set up another one for another hybrid, plus on the left hand side, it asks for our name, which again is going to be our next hybrid. We go through the same process again where we can select variety name.
we go through the next process where we can select variety name. Which in this case is DK2. Hit our green check. As you can see, if it's incorrect, at any time you can tap on the box, <clears throat> erase, Again, brand name and crop type if you so choose. And 2 is our mix name. If we hit the magnifying glass, it lists the one I listed in the last configuration. Starter brings up information I had from the last configuration, so you only have to enter it in the first time. And then this one, same thing. Force, green return. Now I have two on the list. Continue that process on to have all of your products in there. Whichever one is on this upper list or upper box is the active product, the one that it will record to. One thing to note on the Viper 4 for this coming spring, 2015, the Viper is only going to record one hybrid at a time. So just your single hybrid as we start planting. Once we've completed our product configuration, again, however many you so choose to have, we can then move on to the job profile tab. The two extra icons on this product tab before we get into job, the trash can deletes one of your configurations. The icon with the pencil allows you to change any sort of labeling that you've done previously at any time. In this case, I want to plant that hybrid, I go to my job profile tab and we come to the icon where it says start job. Terminology is a little different on the Raven side where instead of a field or field profile they name the fields jobs. So we pull into the field ready to start planting we press start job. Ask us to select a GPS source. The biggest thing at the top of the page is the job name. I would always change my job name to my field name. Reason for that is this job name box <clears throat> is what shows up on this page when you are done with the field. At the top you can see you can still enter in grower farm and field at the top. By pressing on the pencil icon, you can see we have no growers, farms, or fields in here. Again, by pressing the pencil, we can add a grower by just tapping on the boxes. Tap on our farm tab. and our field. As you can see there's a lot of information in each one of these tabs you can enter in. Again you don't have to enter anything for grower farm and field. You can simply start planting without entering that information in there. I would recommend that you change your job name to your field name for easy reference and we'll see that here in a second. As we get down to our products, these are our preset rates. The first line is for our planting rate. The biggest thing to note is that label is in thousands of seeds an acre. So if you desire to plant 34,000, just type in 34 by pressing on the box. 34,500 would be 34.5. The next two are for our fertilizer. This one is for our insecticide, which are just in pounds an acre and gallons an acre for fertilizer. If you are running prescriptions, this is also the page that you would go to to select your prescription map. By pressing on the target right here, instead of selecting fixed rate, you would select RX map, and then you would be able to select your map name after you load them into the display. We do not have currently an RX map in there, so we hit our red X to come back to just our set rates planting through the field. 
Once those are entered in there, we can hit the play button in the lower right hand corner and it will take us to a run screen or a run page. This is what the screen will look like as you go through the field. Thank you.